Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and for this video, I am going to discuss about the law of signs. Now, we use the law of signs in a triangle which is not a right triangle, okay? Most of the time, we use the law of signs, okay? For not right triangle, okay? It could be equilateral triangle, obtuse triangle, or anything any triangle or scalene triangle okay we can use it also in a right triangle but we have also the uh, trigonometric functions which it, which i have discussed uh, from the previous videos okay so let us now discuss the law of signs what if the triangle is not a right triangle how can we find the angles and the sides of it okay So these are the formulas for the law of sines. Okay, where the sides of triangle ABC are proportional, that's why you can see they are all equal to the sines of the opposite angles. Okay? So to find the side of a triangle, I suggest that we that you have to use this formula and to find the measure of an angle of a triangle, I suggest to use this formula. Okay? Now, let us have some example. Using the following given measures, solve for the other sides and angles of a triangle, round off the angles measure in whole number and then one decimal place for the sides of it. Okay, for example number one, we have the given angle B is 52 degrees, side A is 4.7 centimeter, and side B is 4.2 centimeter. Now, it is okay not to uh, draw a triangle because we can see now that the opposite side of this angle B is side B. Okay, So since we can find the measure of angle A first because we have side A here, uh, I can use okay, sine A over A equals okay, sine B over B. Now, we use the for this formula because we are finding the measure or we have to find the measure of an angle A. Now, using the cross multiplication, We have sine A equals A times okay, sine B. I suggest not to not to substitute the values of size and angle first. Okay. So that is it is easier to rearrange the formula. Alright? So we have to find the, the angle of it, the measure of angle A. So we will use shift sign. So we have A times sine B all over B. Now, you can now substitute the values okay, of each variable. We have A is equal to okay, shift sign. So we have A is 4.7 okay, times sine B. Oops. Okay. What is B? B is 52 degrees. All over 4.2, which is B. Okay. 
So, the measure of the angle A, so using your calculator, so I have answer here now. So, the measure of angle A is 61.8. degrees or okay, round off to full number okay, 62 degrees okay so we can now find the measure of angle C by subtraction okay subtracting from 180 degrees 180 minus 62 minus 52 So the measure of angle C is 66 degree. Now let us find the measure of side C. Okay, so I will erase this. So since we are looking for the side, okay, so we will use the other formula. Sine C is equal to you can use a or b it's up to you they are the same you can find the same answer okay, sine b okay so c is okay that's the unknown value Okay, so using the cross multiplication, so B times uh, sine C all over sine B. So side C is equal to what is B? 4.2 okay, times okay, what is C? 66 and what is value of B 52 degrees so the measure of side C is equal to 4.9 okay, centimeter okay Okay, for number two, we have angle A equals 105 degrees, side A is 8.6 centimeter, and B, we have 5.7 centimeter. So, by looking at the given, we can find the uh, angle B first. Okay, sine B over B is equal to, let me erase that. Oops. Where is that? Okay, we have sine A over A. Okay, so cross multiplication. Now let us now go to let's make it shortcut. Uh, shift sine A or shift sine sorry so we have B times a uh, sine A all over A okay double check is it correct yes okay so we have shift sine okay what is the value of B we have 5.7 times sine 105 degrees all over A is 8.6 okay, by using your calculator so I have answer here now so the measure of angle B is 39.8 degrees or 40 degrees Okay, next. 
Let us find the value of angle C. So we have 180 degrees minus uh, 40 degrees minus 105 degrees. So the measure of angle C is 35 degrees. Okay, so now let us find the value of side C. Okay, so using cross multiplication. Again, I suggest not to substitute first the values of each variable or letters. Unless you have arranged everything. So side C is equal to, uh, what is A? 8.6 times uh, sine C. What is the value of C? Which is 35. And sine 35 degrees all over sine what is angle A? 105 degrees. Okay. So again, using your calculator, I have answer here. So the value of side C is 5.1 centimeter. Okay, so that's all for today. Simple and easy. This is Concrude TV. Thank you very much.